today we're in Watertown, Minnesota, to take down a couple of log cabins. Um, the first one here behind me is a uh, 16 by 24 uh, one-story cabin, and the uh, and the other one is actually a, a small 8 by 10 cabin. Um, that I'm hopefully going to be able to turn into a playhouse for my grand grandkids. Anyway, you can see from the outside here, um, the uh, bottom course of logs was uh, removed and replaced um, with the roll block. Could possibly have been two courses that were replaced. It's uh, really weather checked, um, which kind of indicates that it maybe it never had any siding on the outside of it and uh, that's the uh, reason it looks like that we have one log over here that's really bad shape um, all the chinking is um, mason, old style masonry chinking which it, when it starts to pull away uh, and crack like this it actually funnels water into the structure instead of uh, Here's the bad one that I'm talking about. There may be some other ones that we can get into a little bit more. As far as the species is concerned, it's whatever was on the farm a um, hundred and some years ago. I believe the cabin is around um, 125 years old and these floor joists in here have all been uh, replaced well this probably isn't an original one and, and this is original also but these other two here are um, some pine trees that somebody cut down and and put in there and anyhow uh, yeah, you can see some signs of deterioration down on the bottom log down there. So that white stuff is not a good sign. And it appears to have been whitewashed. Um, up there in the corner you can see a little of the old whitewashing. That was usually their first home improvement um, that they uh, could think of. Was to brighten up the inside of it a little bit. and. Uh, Whitewashing was a uh, common way of doing that. Uh, my dog here uh, wants to go upstairs. Let's see if he, he he follows me. No, you stay down. I'm going up first. I'll probably have to carry him down. Hopefully, he stays down there. Down. Stay. That's buddy. My buddy. Anyhow, up here you can see all of the rafters have been replaced. Um, these are, goodness, they're probably two and a half feet on center, which is awfully far apart. But um, anyhow, all the roof boards look like they're new roof boards. I hardly see any nails sticking through. Um, so we might be able to salvage uh, a lot of those um, yeah we'll probably salvage all of them compared to most cabins that uh, have had three or four layers of shingles on them and there's so darn many nails that it just doesn't make sense to to try to salvage them and pull them out um, the exception to that is when we get boards that are uh, really really wide like um, Oh, 14 inch wide boards and things like that that you just don't find anymore we'll, we'll salvage those but um, anyway I guess this is a you call this a story and a half cabin uh, the, there's only two courses of wall logs up here and we'll probably extend that up a little bit more so that the upstairs space is a little bit more usable and um and uh, then the end walls are, are framed, they're not log. Um, 
usually not vlog because uh, what happens is the um, oh settlement in a in a gable end wall um, can cause some issues. So it's usually just better off to go and frame it and and uh, um, deal with it that way. So anyway, today we're gonna take down this cabin and we'll do a separate video for the for the little one for the for the playhouse one. <laughs> 